Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya. I make weekly videos on holistic health and nutrition. So if you're into that, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Today we're going to be doing a what I eat in a day of paleo, but you might have seen from the title, we're going to be focusing on a super simple recipe so you can get in and out of the kitchen as quickly as possible. And we're also going to be focusing on minimizing food waste and minimizing costs. And of course, all of the recipes are going to be delicious. So let's get right into the video. Okay, first is first, we need a breakfast. So I have two go-to breakfasts for like simplicity. That it's either an egg a scramble with some vegetables and maybe some added protein or a smoothie. And lately I've been really into smoothies just because of like, they're even more simple. There's no like cooking involved. There's barely any dishes. And most of the ingredients are frozen so they don't go bad so you're preventing any food waste. So we're gonna be making my favorite smoothie today. Yeah, it's just been like my absolute go-to. I've been super busy lately working on something very exciting that I already announced over on Instagram, but I will be announcing with you guys here in this video today. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, smoothies have just been working for me. So let me show you my go-to smoothie. So three things that I like to focus on with my smoothie is some healthy fats some quality protein, and then I just jam pack as much nutrition as possible in there. So I always add with some kind of milk. You could just do water, but I like doing some kind of nut milk. I'm currently doing macadamia nut milk and really enjoying that. I'm just getting that from Costco in Canada. And then I add some protein powder. So if you watch any of my other videos, uh, you probably know that I love this bone broth um, protein powder. It's just from Ancient, Ancient Nutrition. I get it from Natura Market, which is an online health food store in Canada. I'll leave a link down below for it. Uh, if you're in the States, you can probably grab it honestly at like most grocery stores, not even like health food stores. So just like in the supplement section, but it is fully like paleo friendly. It is made out of bone broth. So it's full of protein, but it's also nourishing for your gut. So I use that. And then once that's added, I add some banana for sweetness. I add some spinach for a ton of nutrition. And then that's, oh yeah. And I add some avocado for some healthy fats. And honestly, that's it. I kind of like to keep it nice and simple. I don't like to combine too many different flavors in my smoothies. And honestly, this combination just tastes so good. So let's make it together. And there you have it, a green protein smoothie that's just so easy to make. It's food waste friendly and affordable. <laughs> Sorry about the wind and the hair here. I swear to God, I did not set that up, but I am standing right beside a heat pump. So it is kind of blowing hair on me and making me look like I set this up. <laughs> Um, sorry about that. Um, but I quickly want to chat about my announcement. So I have started a brand new company. I launched it on a Saturday. It's called Better Mix. We make a grain free baking mixes. Everything is gluten free, dairy free. They're also paleo friendly and they're also plant based, which means they're like vegan friendly. So we launched with three different mixes. We got a brownie mix, a chocolate chip cookie mix and a pancake. They're all so freaking delicious. I worked so, so, so hard on those recipes to make it easy for you guys to just get the mix, pour it in the bowl, add your wet ingredients and bake away. And there you have it. Some awesome cookies, brownies, pancakes, like making pancakes in the morning has never been this easy now. I love it. Anyway, so I really wanted to let you guys know, I already announced it over on Instagram, but I will, sorry about the lighting cloudy day so it's kind of sunny sometimes kind of cloudy other times so many distractions right now while i'm literally trying to announce like 
the most important thing to me right now <laughs> so i apologize about the lighting and this thing here but i'm trying to work with what i have i will leave the website the link to the website down below for better mix it is a canadian company so we do ship canada wide and we do have a launch promotion on that any purchase over 40 dollars will be shipped for free canada wide so that is like a huge shipping discount because shipping in canada is pretty expensive so this is a great way for you to try better mix at no like additional cost it will be shipped right to you at your door and you'll have some delicious treats in no time i will also leave the instagram down below if you want to go give it some love of course it's a brand new account so i appreciate anyone who engages it engages with it by following it, commenting, liking, saving some posts, all that kind of stuff. Definitely let your friends and family that are gluten-free, dairy-free, paleo, vegan know that the, this product is now on the market. Um, and yeah, just thank you for helping me spread the word. I'm really, really excited about this company. I've put a lot of work into it so far and it just started. So yeah, I really wanted to share that with you guys. So let's get right back into the video. Next up, we're gonna have some lunch. All right, it is a lunchtime and if you've watched a few of my videos you may be able to predict what we're going to be making today and that is a nourish bowl now before you click away the reason why i eat nourish bowls all the time for lunch is because it works it is so easy to make it's so nutritious and you can really switch it up every time you make a nourish bowl you can switch up the type of greens you put in the type of vegetables you put in the type of a protein and you can also switch up the dressing and depending on the dressing you use you can really switch up the flavor of the entire salad and today i'm going to be showing you my current go to favorite dressing so let's get in the kitchen okay so this is what we have going on right now um, I'm making kind of like a winter inspired nourish bowl so if you don't like having salads in the winter try this tip out because it really works for me um, so I have some greens at the bottom I'm using these organic greens that I also get from Costco I'm using some shredded carrots to just make it nice and easy they come already shredded I'm gonna add a half an avocado so that's gonna be some veggies, a healthy source of fat. My source of protein will be salmon fillets, which is also a great source of omega-3, so more healthy fats. We'll have that. And then this is what I love doing in the winter time. So I add some warm roasted vegetables, and this just really warms up the entire salad, adds some healthy carbs and tons of nutrients. So I'll be adding some sweet potato and some Brussels sprouts to this salad. And then the dressing. The dressing is really what makes it. And this has been my go-to dressing. It's just a combination of mayo. So I use the Chosen Foods avocado oil mayo. I just get this from Natura Market again in Canada. I'll leave the link down below for it. Just get some Dijon sauce or mustard <laughs> and some apple cider vinegar. So we can make this dressing together. I'm gonna to show you the recipe and keep in mind that all of my recipes, everything I post today will be linked in the description box. So my smoothie, my nourish bowl so far will be in the description box along with this dressing recipe. There it is, a perfect nourish bowl with some greens, tons of nutrition in there, some protein and also healthy fats, healthy fats from the avocado, more vegetables, carbs from a sweet potato and this amazing dressing. You really have to try out this dressing. It's so good. The dressing that I made makes about four servings. So you can keep it in the fridge and have it for the rest of the week as well. It's the afternoon now and I'm already editing this video that you're watching and now and I'm honestly I'm kind of crashing a little bit. So I'm probably gonna go make a cup of coffee. Um, I actually drink decaf, so not that it really helps me, but maybe some kind of placebo there, I don't know. And I decided I'm gonna be making some grain-free chocolate chip cookie 
from Bettermix. So that's my company that I was just talking about earlier. And yeah, I just want to show you the chocolate chip cookies because they are honestly my favorite. They're my favorite product out of the whole range. And they are just my favorite cookies like ever. Like I'm not talking like gluten-free standard or grain-free standard like ever. Like these are unreal. I, I'm pretty sure you could give this to anyone and they would not know that these ingredients are better for you than, you know, your typical chocolate chip cookies out there. So I'm going to make Adias. They're super easy to make. Whip them up and then I'm going to come back and show you the texture because, it, yeah, it's just too good. It's like the perfect soft and like chewy inside and then crispy outside. Okay, cookies are done and yeah, they're just absolutely perfect. I'm obsessed with the taste and texture. I didn't end up making coffee. I made a tea, a tea in my tea mug. Uh, wow. But I made a peppermint tea with a little bit of honey. That's kind of my go-to. I don't drink a lot of tea, but once in a while I feel like it and that was today, I guess. So I'm gonna enjoy that tea with Oh, this cookie probably gonna have like four more cookies because I cannot stop at just one. I'm gonna keep editing and then I will talk to you guys soon to show you my dinner, my favorite, din literally the dinner that I've been having for like the last two months. All right, it is time for some dinner and this is a meal that I don't usually make on this channel um, because I've never really been a fan of stir fries. There's just something about stir fries that I just find like boring and I just assume they're not gonna taste good. But uh, I kind of got over that like mental block that I had, that mental hurdle that I created for myself and I started making stir fries this year and I'm pretty much having stir fries every night. It's just so easy. So again, this video is all about making simple meals, also making them affordable, and there's nothing more affordable than just some, some protein and some frozen veggies. That's what I'm using for my stir fries. And of course, when it comes to food waste, if you're using uh, frozen veggies, you they're, they're not gonna go bad. And no food, like no prep. You don't have to chop all your veggies. So super like easy you just can't go wrong so i'm going to show you what is my like go-to stir fry but again just like the nourish bowl you can always switch up the protein your vegetables and the sauce to make it a completely different meal okay so this is what i do pretty much every time first i cook the protein so today we're doing a chicken thighs i'm going to cook them up and then once they're done i just set them aside and then i cook the veggies and then I would add the chicken back in and then eventually my sauce. So it's just a super simple, whatever you're deciding to do. I love doing ground beef, shrimp. That's kind of it. I kind of rotate between chicken thighs, ground beef and shrimp and then change up the vegetables as well. So I'm gonna wait for this to cook and then I'll show you the vegetables that I'm using. Okay, so this is the stir fry like vegetable blend that I been using again it's from costco but sometimes i get it from like sobeys or superstore as well whatever like this doesn't really matter what you get i guess this one has been good it's kind of like an asian type of mix but i didn't realize i was pretty much out so that's like all i had left which is not a ton because i'm going to be making two servings here so what i decided to do is i have these leftover ingredients from pizza night last night so we made some gluten-free pizza so i have some like red onion green peppers and mushrooms left over so we're just going to go ahead and add that in there so that gives us a decent amount of vegetables and as i mentioned i just put the chicken here i'm going to cut it up and then once the veggies are kind of ready pretty much ready i'll add the chicken back in Okay, now for the sauce. So, you know how I said like I was not into stir fries at all? Honestly, it's like the right sauce and sauces that has converted me into loving stir fries. So there's two options here, well, that I really, really like. So I'm gonna share them with you. Today I'm using the Yeah's Thai. Um, again, I get this off of Natura Market if you're in the States, so it's a US product. So it'll be more like easily available to you. Um, it's a yellow Thai coconut curry sauce and you only need a few spoonfuls and it gives your stir fry so much flavor. Another option is the good food for good. I love their barbecue and ketchup sauce but recently I found out they have these like stir fry sauces. They have like butter chicken, coconut curry and 
uh, tikka masala. So I think I said that right. Um, but yeah, so those two are my go-to. But today we're going to be using this one. It's so good. It has a little bit more of a spice to it than the good food for good ones, which I, I like that spice. Um, so yeah, once the veggies are cooked, I'll add the chicken i didn't do that yet and then um add this guy just like towards the end and then that's it a little salt and pepper all right so the chicken's back in there and the sauce as well and it's looking so good i've lowered the heat so it's just kind of staying warm now and i forgot to mention i'm also going to be making some cauliflower rice now you could just eat this on your own but if you want to bulk up the meal a little bit then cauliflower rice is a great like paleo friendly option if you do eat some grains then you could also just do like regular rice or quinoa but of course i wouldn't be a paleo so yeah basically cauliflower rice i use like a frozen packet just put it in the pan with some avocado oil salt and pepper let it saute for a little bit and that's it it's super easy so i will show you guys the final plated product once it's done and here we have it final product here we got our stir fry some cauliflower rice i added a little bit of cilantro on the cauliflower rice it's so good this was so easy to make all my meals today were just so easy to make and again within those meals like a smoothie a salad a nourish bowl as i like to call it and a stir fry you can really make it your own by adding your protein of choice your favorite veggies and your favorite like dressings or sauces so that is how like when i'm busy like starting a new company i just stick with those meals like smoothie okay like how are we gonna make that smoothie salad and a stir fry just make sure you have some quality protein in there some healthy fats and lots of vegetables for some nutrients some vitamins minerals all the good stuff and that's it it doesn't have to be super complicated as you saw today it, it didn't take me like any time to cook those barely any prep no food waste and all very affordable so i really hope you enjoyed this video uh don't forget to go check out better mix i'm gonna leave the website and the instagram account down below and if you have any questions regarding this video definitely leave them in the comments down below remember that i will leave all of the recipes they're barely like recipes they're kind of just like the ingredients to the meals i made today um, i'll leave all that down below in the description box so you can check it out and yeah thank you so much for watching this video today i hope you really really enjoyed it um, if you did then definitely share it with anyone that you think could benefit from watching this video i hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you guys in the next one bye